It is 2020 and once again, the country celebrated Australia Day on the 26th of January. Many people prefer the traditional Barbie, but some do head into the city to enjoy the parade. As always, it is a good chance to get out and meet up with some like-minded people to celebrate Australia's birthday. Ran into this bloke. What's your name again? Uh, Senator Slayer, Senator. aka Ericsson. Yeah, how are you, mate? Not bad, man. I'm here to uh, observe the festivities of Australia Day uh, with Ricky T's old Australian flag that was taken to Alice Springs. To this Ayers Rock. Is this the famous flag? Is this it? This is the flag that the uh, the lefties used um, to drag Ricky down and almost lynch him just over there. So. Wow. Today, hopefully, lefties are less aggressive and less violent, and uh, hopefully they don't threaten to burn down Australia again, because it actually happened, so. I don't think they toned down their rhetoric one bit, to be honest. They'll probably be we'll, even worse. We'll find out very soon. Uh, but apparently there's our uh, 30 Proud Boys here. Wow. Um, so it should be an interesting time, and uh, Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. I arrived late, so I decided to check out the parade and get some footage. Just like last year, there was an abundance of foreign flags and many of the parade sections had nothing at all to do with Australia Day. One section I saw was even dedicated to sodomy for some reason. It's hard to see what this has to do with the holiday, but it's 2020 I guess. Because it's 2015. So the section of the parade, the, the Pakistanis just went past and they're all going Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. It's like, come on, guys. Give us a break. You're literally flying the Pakistani flag. Look who I ran into. Medi Stephanos. G'day. Happy Australia Day, bro. Rosie the Greek. It's cracking. Zorba Dundee, as you say. Yeah. yeah. Uh, brings you here. Just wanted to see, uh, celebrate Western civilization and the foundation of Australia, basically. So, uh, happy Australia Day, everyone. All the best. And stay strong. Yeah. What do you have to say to the, the commies who are going to be here later? They should self-deport, I guess. Like, go, yeah. Like they should leave the country. If they hate the country, they should just leave. I mean, everything's, uh, you know, the cutlery they use, everything they use is because of the European colonisation. So if they don't like that, then they shouldn't use anything that we, we, brought, we brought here, basically. Welcome. Finally, David. You're late, as always. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about, Matty. Well, it's now quarter to 12. It's been been going you, you missed the the parade I saw, I saw the back end of it, it it's, it's lovely to see such a beautiful civic display yeah. of nationalism that's I, I right because we live in a country where anybody can come yeah to Australia and be in Australia you, yes. you basically just have to be breathing I, I love it well you just need a piece of paper don't you absolutely just like if paper. I was born in a zoo yeah. that would make me a giraffe because the zookeeper says so well that's true if you identify as a giraffe it's offensive for people to oh. disagree with you on that I've I should have brought a rubber stamp I don't know why I didn't I identify as a communist dictator my um, uh, my pronouns are sec gen. Sec gen. Yes. Is that what the, the aviator glasses are for? You just need your beret hat. Where's your beret exactly. to cover the bald head? Oh, I am. Um, and the, the, the beret I, do I, do I donated it to a small Pakistani child. As I said, it's it's really, really beautiful to see. Really, really beautiful to see. And, yes. Um, I, Signatory I, all the way. Absolutely. And, and I hope there's just a beautiful display of solidarity with our original brothers uh, yeah. shortly. I've, I've got to say it's, it's beautiful to see so many um, so many like white, what, I don't want to trigger anybody but to use this expression but so many white Australians if I can say that. <laughs> are you allowed yeah. to say that are you? Yeah, <laughs> marching in solidarity with the original owners of this country. Oh of course. It's, yeah, it, it's tremendous to see um, such outgroup preference. Yes. Yeah. I've got to say as well, that I still don't see enough people from other countries here. Mm. Yeah. yeah, let's have a look. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, definitely, definitely yeah. not. We, we, definitely need, not we need more diversity. Without more diversity, mm. Australia won't survive. After those very serious words of wisdom from Dave the Philosopher, we met up with Neil and ran into the Proud Boys who were planning a protest. Then this happened. So, I understand, uh, I understand what you do. And we're all, 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 we
So you've explained to me that you're a member of the public and you want to celebrate Australia Day and you want to stand here with the flag and observe the celebrations. Is that right? Yep. Have I misunderstood? No. Okay. So that being the case, um, unfortunately, I'm going to have to ask you to move on because what will happen is I have a protest coming here with um, conflicting ideological or political views. I don't have any. Okay. But that being the case, what will happen is you will agitate me and create a political peace. So what I'm doing here, I'm asking you very nicely, can you please move on until the rally comes past? And then after that, you more than lucky to stand here all day. But I have an obligation. I have an right to stand here in public. It is important to understand clearly what's happening here, and that is the police are physically removing a man simply for wearing a flag, all because a bunch of communists will soon arrive and get violent if they see him standing there with said flag and expressing political opinions that they don't like. Rather than protect a citizen's right to protest peacefully, they protect the left's desire to violently threaten anyone and get away with it. Such is the state of Victoria under Premier Dick Ears, Daniel Andrews. Can you walk with us, please? Will you walk with us, please? We don't want you to get hurt, no, sir. Walk, just walk with us, please. It's Australia Day, you idiot! It's Australia Day! You it's Australia Day! It's Australia Day! It's Australia Day! Can I leave this with you? What's, what are we doing? Do you need to do this? Make sure I get my flag, sir. Hang on. Hang on. The Proud Boys protest didn't last long, they sung the national anthem, then went home. Not sure what the point was, but okay. Then we waited for the leftist protest. And we waited. And we waited. So it looks like they, they finally turned up more than two hours later. Looks like there's a few of them, not sure how many, let's have a look. Eventually they showed up with their copyrighted flags and mindless chants about being on Aboriginal land or some other nonsense like that. Apparently repeating the same lie over and over somehow makes it magically true. The numbers were probably two or three thousand at most, although their ABC claims there were tens of thousands for some reason. You are fake news. So the protesters finally turned up just two hours late. You can see them there in the background just doing the usual thing. I'm not sure why we waited for so long just for what you see behind us. There's a bunch of people yelling chants and talking nonsense really, but you know, it's good to get out and get some shots and have a look at them. I'm not exactly sure what they're going to achieve, but you know what? This is the definition of a noisy minority right there. We know that they're a minority. If you watch my recent live stream, you saw the recent IPA poll, you'll see that they are overwhelmingly outnumbered by people who love Australia, love Australia Day. I believe Australia has nothing to be nothing to be ashamed of. We should be proud of our history. It just shows you whose side are actually winning, who, who actually has the truth on their side, and who's just a sooky, whiny bunch of bitches. With not much else happening, Dave and I decided to call it and say our final words. Walking back to Dave's car, just chalking, talking shop. Do you reckon that was one of the most boring protests you've ever been to, Matty? Probably. Yeah. Probably the most boring protest I've ever been to, yeah. It was, it was large-ish, and we saw the pictures there and I don't... Yeah, there were hundreds. Hundreds of people. Yeah. There were hundreds of people there. Hundreds and hundreds. Yeah. <laughs> Several hundred people there. I don't know, I think it was maybe roughly the same as last year in terms of size. Uh, maybe, maybe a bit maybe. smaller. Yeah. 
and it was fairly uneventful. They took two hours to walk from Parliament down to Fed Square. Well, when you look at the status, did you see how... There were, there were a few too many there Big Macs. Were, yeah, a few too many Big Macs, a little bit too much yep. sugar. Yeah. Not enough exercise. So they just took ages to get down. And we got a couple of shots of the crowd and couldn't really hear what they were saying either. No, I could not, just, they were really they were quiet. Very quiet. Just weak, insipid, uh, loudmouths who, like, even when they all chant together, they're quiet. Yep. They're nothing. And they're the five percent, yeah. They're the six percent, I think the it 6%. is. The six percent of people who think we have something to be ashamed of simply for existing. But I've already said it. But they're the definition of a loud minority. They are a minority that are organised. So they go there. It looks like they've got a big crowd. I mean, it's a bigger protest than we could ever muster. But when you think not about, ever. not ever, but even like just normally. But even then, that's because people who are now feel or on our side of the debate tend to have jobs and families and yeah. people to take care of so we don't normally protest yeah, that all they do is protest well our friends are mm. actually off having barbecues yeah and doing normal things we, we didn't have a barbecue today or well, i didn't so i was able to stick around and wait for them but just nothing untoward kind of a boring protest whining about the fact that civilization exists here a lot of white people are sad that so many Aussies uh, have been brainwashed, but again, they are the very, very small, loud minority. I have actually heard that next year's protest, they are, they are actually suggesting that they should do it without shoes. <laughs> yeah, just to I think so. And I reckon they should probably do it out in the bush as well, yes. where there's no electricity, no roads, no shoes, <laughs> and they should actually have to wear the possum skin coats. Yeah, and they can't kind of film it. Yeah, no <laughs> filming. Nothing at all. Anyway, I was a... Uh, Relatively dull day, but happy Australia Day, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it.